Everybody is very familiar with wireless communication, and you all would agree with me that wireless has really affected every facet of our lives. And this has really started with 2G technologies, and it was mainly for people-to-people -people communications. Now, with the emergence of the internet, coupled with the emergence of 3G, we started looking into the mobile internet, and you can actually cannot think of the potential application, the product and services that came with it, but obviously also you can think about social issues that came with the mobile internet as we move forward. The development, actually, the growth uh, in the demand for ubiquitous computing, coupled with advances in technologies, has led to what I call the internet of things that is happening nowadays, which is really gonna have a tremendous impact for many years to come, and it will allow the connections of things uh, without really uh, the intervention of humans. Now, this development, in my view, will be dwarfed by the emergence of what I call the tactile internet, which will allow the real-time kind of control and steering of subject through big data intelligence, uh, kind of real-time sensing and actuations, and the potential of replication will be incredible. To make this happen, it's extremely important to have an appropriate technology, and for that to happen, actually, we have a new technology that is coming up, which is 5G, which is actually going to allow the joining of the cyber and physical world. And this is going to be a paradigm shift in terms of technology. It's not really going to be just a linear progression. It's going to be a major transformation that's going to face formidable challenges, which will include a massive amount of data, high speed, billions if not trillions of devices, and more importantly, the latency or the end-to-end -end delay has to be significantly lower compared to current system to allow real control of subject. So this is going to happen through what I called 5G, which is going to be a major breakthrough. It's going to be a true paradigm shift. And it's not going to be just a linear progression, as I mentioned. It's really going to be a revolution in terms of where we see wireless communication is going to evolve. This paradigm shifts it's really going to have expanded opportunities. It's going to open up many, many a host of opportunities, host of new application products and services. But this is going to be a formidable challenge. This is going to require us really to have a paradigm shift in the terms of the design of systems and devices. And it will require out-of-the-box thinking. In particular, this will really require new innovations. It will require the development of disruptive technologies in order to be able to meet the stringent requirement of the tactile internet and 5G. So what I'm going to be talking about today, I'm going to be talking about some of the path-breaking technologies, some of the disruptive technologies that we believe are completely necessary. There are so many of them, but we're going to be talking about some of the key technology that you can see here that we are doing at HKUST in order to enable the tactile internet and 5G. So the first one I'm going to be talking about, this is going to be a major, major breakthrough, is the idea of using what we call massive MIMO, which is the idea you're going to have a massive amount of antennas, and this is not going to be a trivial matter, which is going to allow you to be able to reliably somehow transfer a huge amount of data, or perhaps at the same time transfer a huge amount of data to multiple users. The next important technology is going to be there is that 5G and the tactile internet is going to allow you to have ambient network connecting very smart devices. And what this is going to do for us is that eventually 5G is going to allow us to finally come up and meet the what I call the wireless everywhere dream. This is the quest for connecting anything, anyhow, at any time. Another very, very important technology that's going to be very necessary for us is that you need to be able to have, you're going to have billions if not trillions of devices, and energy is going to be a major, major component. Therefore, you need to develop new technologies, new devices in terms of energy harvesting and so on. And more importantly, there will be an exciting technology that we are working on, is this the cloud radio area network, where it's really going to make a huge difference in terms of reducing the energy as well as developing new technology. And finally, in order for all of this to come together, it's extremely important that we come up with the new embedded systems, the new devices, wearable sensors and so on, and this is going to be a major thing. So finally, we are moving into exciting times where we're going to see the emergence of 5G, which is going to be a game changer. It's going to bring to life the tactile internet 
the potential opportunities that this is going to have is going to be unimaginable in terms of product, in terms of application, in terms of how we're going to actually see the world as we move forward. Thank you.